so you want to install Windows 10? We're going to need something to install it with. So we'll load up the media creation tool, make up some Windows 10 install media on a little fummy drive, flash drive. What do you call them? <laughs> One of these things. And I've decided to add a little prologue onto here before we get into the video. Uh, you're going to need an hour and a few gig of download, preferably fast download. Um, before you start, if you don't have an hour to spare um, and some gigabytes, don't start. Uh, but you, it doesn't take you an hour, you get going. As explained in the video, you start it up and then um, come back in an hour and it should be done. So this is pretty straightforward, but uh, I'm doing it for completeness. Um, a little, it's dead easy. We'll just open a browser. Uh, we want to we want to create. We want to reinstall um, Windows 10 for any reason. And look, you know, you bought a new laptop. That's as good as reason as any to to install Windows 10. Honestly, get on there. You know, make sure you're all registered up and it's all Windows. And Microsoft knows about you, and then. Just start from scratch and get rid of all the rubbish that's on there, unless there's something you really like. But half the time, it's all a bunch of adware and rubbish you don't want. You just get rid of everything and just start with a nice, clean, fresh uh, Windows 10 that with all the stuff you want, or you've changed the drive. And well, we did, I did one the other day and changed the drive and installed Windows, and it seems to be locked to the motherboard, which is what everyone says now. But I just wanted to check myself. Um, and changing the drive uh, was no problem at all. Um, drive blows up, put a new one in, or you change over to a nice new sexy SSD or something, which is what I want to do in my machine here, and just start from scratch. And I'm going to do that anyway. So we um, essentially all we want to do is download the little tool. I've done this before, but will wants me to update my Windows, but we're not going to do that. Download tool now is what we want to do. So we just go. That was dead easy. I mean, it's obviously oh, this is the English US version. I don't think it matters where I go. I've got it on the in US or the Australian version. Um, download tool now, and see that save it. And then view our little downloads. And it's as you can see, it's like. Second one, so there's like at least three on here now. But yeah, you want to see it. Uh, of course, and that's pretty quick here, so it downloads fairly quick. That has to obviously goes into that little screen that uh, uh, authorizes you to run things. I leave all that on because you know, it saves anything running with it. I don't, what, what's changing things? I like to know when things are changing things. So you've got the usual agreement, read all of that carefully, word for word. Don't miss a single thing. Very, very important. <sighs> if you've got nothing else to do. Not that you've got any choice, you have to accept. So you've just signed away your soul and it gets some things ready. Okay, we don't want to upgrade this PC. We could, but we don't want to. We want to create some installation media, which is the entire point of this. Um, we're languages. Use recommended settings. Yeah. yeah, so if you've got any uh, specific requirements, um, language, uh, those ones you might have to look up. I'm not sure what those. Um, if you want need a 32, look, if you've got a 32 bit, bit machine or you need a 32 bit installation, I can't imagine what situation that be. But hey, I'm not here to judge, but say, I don't know, some specific. Software requirements or machine requirements. I, most machines are 64 bit. Uh, you've also got the option of both. So there you go. That's if you, if in doubt, go with both. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to go with the default. Obviously, if you need it to be a Russian install or something, uh, and maybe even the UK might be useful, but you can always change that later. It's just want to change it like that. But if you definitely, if you're putting it for your, making it for your Russian friend. <laughs> Or something perhaps uh, we just go with the default now we want to use a flash drive um, we could 
uh, download an ISO, um, and we, with that ISO, we can then use that ISO to burn a, a DVD. On some machines, you might need to do that, but anything that you're going to be wanting to put Windows 10 on, chances are you're going to be able to boot from a USB. Um, the ISO could also be handy. You could then keep that and use something like Rufus um, to then make that into a bootable uh, drive for some reason. Uh, ISO, I, I, want, I should download the ISO just to have hand, to keep on hand, just um, because it could be useful um, for other purposes like that. But we'll just burn a uh, USB, that's a simple one. Now we have to be careful here. <laughs> Unlike Rufus, Rufus is very careful, it just picks only um, USBs and um, I've obviously got a couple of USBs plugged in here, but I've also got my Seagate um, one terabyte drive plugged in. We don't want to do that one. Um, but what we do have is, I've actually named it blank so we can't go wrong. So we have a blank um, USB. We'll click that and then we go through the progress, which is going to take a while. And we will probably pause that for a bit because um, it does take a little while. Uh, it is. Uh, quite a fairly big installation. I'm not sure how many gig uh, it is on the on the CD, but uh, we'll come back when it's gone a bit further. Oh, and one little tip: it does um, let you know that um, this is going to take a while. Uh, where's it point to there? It says, like it says, feel free to keep using your PC. This is going to take a while. Go back onto Facebook or whatever, and um, or YouTube and um, look at cat videos or whatever you normally do or go have a coffee or go on with your life. Um, so, But the computer is full, fully usable while it's doing this. It, it doesn't affect the use of the computer. It's not like it's installing anything on your computer that is going to tie up the computer and I don't even know if it uses a lot of resources. Uh, I, um, it's using a little bit of CPU but nothing, nothing substantial. Um, so. Uh, not really much using much anything, including Ethernet. Uh, so, so yes, that takes a while. So, if you've got a slow connection and you haven't got an ISO sitting around, it might be a good idea to use Rufus. Uh, but if you don't have the ISO, you're sort of stuck with downloading this anyway. So that's just about <laughs> finished the download. That's taken a while. Um, <coughs> I should have timed it. It does take a little while, but you can be doing something else, which I was. Okay, so now it's doing a little verify. I don't remember how long that took. I think I went away and had a coffee last time. But it's nearly 3 o'clock when it's got to that point. I think I started at about 2.30. I can't remember. And then it finally gets on to actually creating the media. Um, so we should be able to see something on the drive now. Or not. So it's been about five minutes since started the creating media, I think. Uh, I see the light flashing on the drive, so something's happening. Um, it's definitely writing stuff to the drive now. Um, got some directories and things set up there. So it actually is creating the medium. I, you know, like I say, I started this about um, 2.30. It's now 3. Look, um, by the time it's 3. Look, you might yeah, put aside an hour, but then you don't have to be here for the whole thing. You start it up. Once you put those first few things in, then you go away or go do back to what you're doing. Um, once your computer doesn't go to sleep, um, that's fine. If you leave your computer so it uh, stays awake for that period, and it'll just do this way. And when you come back, it'll be all done. And you can then uh, not worry about it. Like I say, it does take about an hour. I can't remember how long the Rufus one took. It took a little while, but this is obviously uh, a bigger install. We've finished, we'll have a look at the size of the install difference uh, from memory. I mean, and Ubuntu, even though it's funny because, like, you think, oh, Ubuntu's got a lot of programs and uh, Linux got a lot of programs and stuff, and so you think it should be bigger than Windows, but Windows is always bigger. I think the Ubuntu is only a couple of gig on the on the thumb drive and the windows, I remember it's like uh, more like four gig or something. It's it's substantially uh, a bigger install, so it does take a bit longer when you install as well. Um, even though it does seem that um, Linux or Ubuntu has more apps when you're done, um, 
it's it just a fair bit too windows has a lot of code there yeah and as you can see um the ubuntu like i say is about I don't know, a couple of gig uh only six of of seven free so it's a bit over a gig um and there's like three of seven uh free there so of course these are so like four gigs so yeah the windows installation is substantially bigger which is odd really because the ubuntu has actually got like um office uh like libre office included and a lot of apps included but yeah the windows is a, a quite a big installation which is probably why it takes a bit longer because it certainly seems to take longer when you install lots of stuff um certainly lots of stuff on the on the uh, on the usb um uh, of course the ubuntu also download some stuff uh, on the net when you're doing it uh, but then windows does too so um and then once you even once you've installed especially with windows but it too once you install them it's still going to want to probably do updates after that uh, windows certainly does it'll update to the latest version uh, very quickly after you install it which takes a little while so but that gives you a comparison of the size of the actual uh, amount of stuff on the actual uh, usb anyway after an hour up to 99% on the creating media. Um, so I wouldn't hang around while this was going on. Um, I've hung around for you. <laughs> so you cannot uh, put it on, go away. Go about your life because it's not worth waiting on. Your USB flash drive. What you want to do is put it on, go through those few setups, and it takes a little while, download, go through those few first few setups then go away and come back in a couple of hours when it's all done. Oh, it's all done already. That's good because you don't want to wait around for that. That does take a while. So now you have a nice little drive to stick in your Windows computer and install Windows very carefully. Don't put it on a computer that's got good stuff on it you want to keep because it, um, you could make a mess, but um, you might want to do an update or something. I don't know. Your computer 